Christopher, Robin, and I to lay this book in your lap. Say you're surprised, say you like it, say it's just what you want it, because it's yours, because we love you. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Christopher Robin who lived in Pine Forest called the Hundred Anchor Wood. something? Blah. Oh, it was you. Looks like it's about half past breakfast. I suppose it is time for a little snack. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. He fills it with things that are sweet. Blah, blah, blah. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. Father. Don't worry, my round little tummy. I'm hearing your revenue 
this plea. When there is no honey, the poo takes the tummy. Wherever the honey will be. Wait! My friends are out there with honey to spare. And they will take care of my tummy. And me. Someone has to have some honey lying around, just enough for a small snack roll, or maybe a large morsel. The wonderful thing about tiggers is tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber, their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, chouncy, bouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about tiggers is I'm the only. Hello there, Pooh. Hello, Tigger. Did you hear something? Something kind of rumbly? That's my tummy. <laughs> You're right. Oh, shucks. I thought it was something more exciting than that. Do you happen to have any honey on you, Tigger? Not unless I bounced into some. I did get something kind of sticky on my tail earlier. It's yours if you want it. Thank you. No, I think I'll hold it until I find some honey. Suit yourself. Can you help us find some? Love to, Pooh, but there's something I'm looking for myself. What are you looking for? What tiggers love most. Adventure. I'll let you know when I find some. If you happen to find any honey on your way to adventure. You'll be the first to know. a quarter to lunchtime now. I bet Christopher Robin has some honey. He always has has a snack or two for Pooh. Christopher Robin, you who it's Pooh. Pooh looks really sad for a moment. Then he decided that if he knocks, maybe Christopher Robin would hear him. The knocking went in the fuss of the ground made up his feet. To your left. No, Pooh, your other left. Pooh is very puzzled by the note. Well, it is a very puzzling note. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. Say, Piglet, do you happen to have any honey on you? Why? Do you see some? No, I was just hoping. What's that you've got in your hand, Pooh? It's a very puzzling note. Maybe it should take his rabbit shot. She's very good at puzzles. That's just what I was thinking. That isn't really a poo thinking at all. Hey! Well, it wasn't poo. But since it was a very good idea, Pooh and Piglet went off to Rabbit's house to see what he thought of the puzzling note. Rabbit is quite good at puzzles. He'll tell us just what this means. Wish, Wish I, I could, could be good, good at puzzles. Maybe if I eat my greens. Once Rabbit's done with his puzzle, maybe he'll give us a snack. We've been walking so far, just a spoonful or a jar. Just some honey would help us get back. figure out.
puzzle. Well, as you know, I am quite good at puzzles. That's what we thought. Say, Rabbit, while you're puzzling out the note, do you happen to have any honey I and Piglet could snack on? I'm afraid I'm fresh out of honey poo. I was afraid you were going to say that. Now let's see this puzzle of yours. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Is it a good kind of puzzle? Not the kind where you've lost a piece and can't find it for the longest time? What are you talking about, poo? This note is simply terrifying! What does it say? Um, I don't know. Then why is it terrifying? Because, because, hmm, I'll, I'll explain to you why it's terrifying. So Pooh, Piglet, and Rabbit set out for Owl's house with a puzzling and terrifying note. Hmm, excuse me Owl, is that good, a good kind of noise or a bad kind of noise? It's a I'm thinking kind of noise, Pooh. Oh say Owl, while you're thinking, do you happen to have any honey? Honey, never touch this up. It clogs the arteries and slows down the mental process. But it tastes so good. How happened that I will think, Pooh? Gone out, Baxton. Busy Baxton, sign Christopher Robin. Do you know what this means? That's why he came to you, Owl. I tried to explain to him why it was terrifying. What does the note mean, Owl? This note means that that Christopher Robin has been captured by a creature called the Baxton. Oh! I did I tell you it's terrifying, Pooh? Did I tell you? But what's a Baxin, Al? A Baxin is malicious. It's ferocious. Does it eat piglets? They sneak into your library and scribble in all your books. Christmas tree, they tangle up all the hooks. The Baxin, the Baxin, you're afraid of the Baxin. They spoil the milk, they stop the clocks, they use your horns, but hold in your thumb. The Baxin, the one, you're pulling from the rocks. Did I tell you it was terrifying? We must tell everyone in the woods that Christmas Robin had been kidnapped by the Baxin. And it'll probably come for us next. The first one say it to her can't get ripped.
Panda Owl is the best plan of them all. A plan. Hmm, a plan. This will require a lot of serious thinking. Let me retire to my library. Research the question. Oh dear, I'm going to hide. Where are you going to hide, Rabbit? If I told you, Pooh, we wouldn't be hiding now, would it? So the animals went and hid, waiting to learn Owl's great plan. And then Pooh came up with a plan of his own. I did? Yes, you did, Pooh. Oh, is it a clever plan? The cleverest you've ever had. Good. So Pooh went and explained his clever plan to Piglet. We're going to dig a hole in the ground and trap the Baxen. That's a clever plan, Pooh. I've been told it's the cleverest I've ever had. But once the Baxen sees the pit, won't they just walk around it? Hmm, that's a very good point, Piglet. Maybe we can make it look like something Baxen's like. You mean like a jar of honey? Baxton's like honey poo. Mm. But everyone likes picnics. Maybe we can make the pit look like a picnic. That's a very clever idea, Piglet. So Pooh and Piglet dug a hole in the ground, covered it with cloth, and made it look like a picnic. Mean, Pooh? Bring your own honey, just so they know they're welcome to. Pooh and Piglet went away and hid so the bats and wouldn't expect a trap. Must hide! Must hide! Food! Well, I should probably sit some for visions. It'll make it easier to hide. What are you doing down there, Rabbit? Help me, or the bats will trap me. If I don't get out of this trap, he'll come take me away just like he did Christopher Robin. Grab my tail, I'll pull you around. Thank you, Eeyore. <laughs> now what'd you do that for? I didn't mean to, it just came off of my hand. Now I'll have to get another one. Probably won't be as good as the last one, they never are. Wait, Eeyore, don't leave me. I'll be back eventually. What's so good about it? Tigger, we're trapped in a vaccine trap. Can you bounce out and get help? Well, of course I can. If there's one thing Tiggers can do, it's bounce. <laughs> Mama, can I go back to Tigger? Just be careful, dear. Hi, Tigger. Hi there, Roo. More animals in this trap is not helping. The more the merrier, I always say. Is everything all right? Kangla, we're trying to get out of the trap. Oh dear, why didn't you say that before? Tigger, if you could bounce her up to me, maybe I could reach down and help the rest of you out. Owl, 
Surely you can get us out of this Baxton trap. Typical Baxton strategy, I'd say. This will require a lot of serious stuff. The first ones they ran into are King and Rip. It sounds like we've captured a whole family of backs. Maybe we should leave them alone. They don't sound very happy. We have to save Christopher Robin Piglet. Of course, but let's at least stay back here where they can't see us. You're right. Baxen! Baxen! They're Baxen's all right. Baxen's. Baxen's! We surrender! The Baxen's are surrendering, Pooh. That's good. Help us out so we can discuss the terms of our surrender. The Baxter sounds awfully a lot like Owl. He does, doesn't he? Maybe we should let them out so they can lead us to Christopher Robin. Who? What are you pretending to be the Baxter? I'm not pretending to be a Baxter. What are you doing in our Baxter trap? Wait, your Baxter trap? We built it to trap the Baxter. And it seems like you captured every creature in the wood except for the Baxter. sat and tried to think of a way out of the pit. Which was not a very nice place to be. Smart. Blah. I know it's practically afternoon snack time. Pooh tried to think to keep his mind off his growling tummy. Thinking is hard. So Pooh tried to remembering instead. up to make a staircase. Oh my, everybody look. We can climb out. I could have bounced us out, only if I just gotten a running start. Let's just get ourselves out of here before the real vaccine comes. We thought he kidnapped you. Why would you think that? Because of this. Go on out, busy, be back soon. Oh, all I meant to say is I was busy and I'd be back soon. Oh. So there really isn't a monster? And we will escape. 
scared for nothing? It figures. Don't play me. It was Al who told us about the vaccine. Perhaps I could have read the document a bit more carefully. As my niece, the letter would say, sorry. I guess even Al's made mistakes, but at least we got Christopher Robin back. Not for long, I'm afraid. It'll be autumn soon, and I'll be having to go to school. So I don't have that much time to play with you guys anymore. Forever? Not forever, Rue. I'll still have nights and weekends, but when next summer comes around, we'll spend every day together. But next summer's a long way away. Lots of breakfasts and lunch times and afternoon snacks and ways. I know. That's why I came to, here today, to have one last summer picnic with you. Yay! Yay! A picnic! Mr. Robin and the animals set out a picnic. Because they were all really excited. Because it was a really cool picnic. It was even better than the one I had for my birthday. Everyone bought something to share. Including lemonade and cookies and raspberry tarts. Excuse me? Yes, Pooh? Are you forgetting something? I don't think so, Pooh. Sorry, Pooh, my mother is all out of honey. Oh, bother. A boomerang pickle. Maybe someone else has some honey. I asked all my friends. Have you asked them? The bees? I never thought they'd be willing to share. Maybe you, if you invite them to our picnic. Hey, bees. Yeah. Would you like to come to our picnic? Maybe some honey? Old friends are great, but not better than new friends with honey. 